There are also um, databases that you can use specifically for your field. I'm going to go back to the home page. So you could click on all databases if you wanted to go through them by list like that. All journals if you wanted to look at those journals individually listed. Or you can go to databases and do a search. So you can search by subject or name or type. For now, I'm going to actually click here, go to, it's a little bit further down, next page, and it's on the next page. I'm going to Nursing and Allied Health. So once I click on that, it's only going to give me databases that this system knows have information related to nursing. So you can see we've got Nursing and Allied Health Database, Journals at Ovid Nursing Collection, both of those really good resources, and there are even more you could keep going. There are six pages worth of results just for nursing databases. So if you search one of those specific databases, then it'll weed out some of the other stuff that you might not want to get. You can also access these databases by going to our LibGuide created for nursing. Our LibGuides are, all, are accessed from our library webpage. And you can see there are a lot of tabs here, so keep that in mind. But on the home page, on the home page of this LibGuide, you can find resources for APA citation style, some brief instructions, on finding the Journals at Ovid resource, Bento search tips, information on how to read a scholarly article, and you can also see a lovely list of most of those nursing databases linked here that you'll be using. You've got Journals at Ovid, you've got R2 Digital, which is also a great resource, and I will quickly and briefly show you both of those. So you can see on R2, you can do a search up here. You can go through the index, browse by publication title, author, publisher, the area that you're focused on. So nursing specifically, individual disciplines, depending on what your you know topic is, you may want to use one of these. I'm going to go ahead and click on nursing. And then let's see. Let's go to family nursing. So then we've got several different options here. And I'll just pick this one. You can see it's got information for the resource. Table of contents, some topics covered off to that side. There are a lot of topics covered in this one. So let's go back up. Now this does look very different, but you can still grab your citations. You can export from this little tools tab and you can get them in APA format or you can export them to RefWorks or EndNote or one of the citation managers you're using. You can also email this page to yourself so it can help you find it later. It does tell us that this title is available in our collection. You can even search in here and it shows my last search, so we'll just go with that one, actually. So it says there's 129 results in this resource, and it gives you each one of those options, like it does when we search ebooks in Galileo. So if I click on this, it's going to give me that excerpt, and it's going to show me where those terms are which can be really useful. So definitely make sure and explore R2 Digital Library. There is a lot that you can make use of on here. Ovid is different from R2 Digital. You can do a search and include related terms. 
it's kind of similar to searching Galileo, but the options for refining your search are a little different. So let's do drug interactions and see what comes up. And I'm going to remove include related terms because I, I'm just wanting drug interactions. Okay, so if you scroll down, you can see we get 254 results as it shows over here. And it highlights where those terms appear. You can go into the article as a PDF, grab your citation. If you click cite, it gives you three citation options and you can just click over here and copy that and paste it wherever you need to. You can also click and view the abstract to get an idea of what the resource is about and select any of these options over here if you need to. You can filter your search based off of the years, how current it is, the journal, publication type, how relevant it is. And if you want to make sure that you get only resources here, you'll want to combine another term with drug interactions like United States or Georgia or whatever the case may be. You can do advanced search, advanced searches and um, get some more specific resources as well. And you'll notice up here it shows you what your search history is and how many results there were. So you can keep track of what you've searched for and go back to a previous search. You can save them all, email that search history to yourself, copy it and keep that for later. So I'll show you what one of these resources looks like when we do view it here. Also, you can grab that citation if you didn't from the other page. Same format. You can email the article text to yourself, send the PDF, or any of the other options. You've got that abstract again down here and a little bit more information. I won't go through all of these right now. But to go into the actual resource, I'm going to click Article as PDF, and it's going to take me directly into it. You can see that it's eight pages long, and you can immediately scroll through. So very, very easy to access and get to. And if you didn't get the citation, either of the other two um, pages, you can grab it from here. And that's a brief overview of Ovid. And there are so many other databases too that you can make use of, but definitely explore this one and R2Digital and see what you can find there.